Hi Falcons, it's Miss Torres here. I just wanted to share a little bit um, about myself and a little bit about my family and my culture. So I was born in San Antonio, Texas, and I've lived here most of my life. My mom was born in Michigan, the state of Michigan. She was born there um, because my grandparents moved from Mexico all the way to Michigan. They migrated and they worked in Michigan. They worked as cherry pickers. I love cherries. Do you love cherries? So um, even though my homeland is the United States and I live in San Antonio, Texas, a lot of my um, experiences and culture is still um, related to the Mexican culture. And I love it. I love having a part of both. Um, I will be showing you my float soon and I can't wait to see yours. And we're gonna get started with our second part of our fiesta floats. So today I'm gonna show you a little bit of paper techniques and we'll go ahead and get started. So our first technique is a tissue paper technique. If you have tissue paper, feel free to try this. What I did is cut some small squares and what you wanna do is wrap it at the end of your pencil. I know I've seen many of you students do this on your free art days. It's really cool. You're gonna wrap it around the eraser end of your pencil. And then you're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue on your surface wherever you want to glue these. You're gonna put glue and Stick it on there, should stay, and you're gonna pull your pencil out. The more of these that you have close together, looks really cool. It's full, it adds volume and texture. Our second um, paper technique is using construction paper. I'm cutting strips of construction paper, green and orange, we're gonna use our pencil as a tool and wrap the construction paper all around the pencil. This is going to create a spiral effect, okay? This one looks a little bit thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my scissors and trim it maybe in half, and I'm gonna repeat it so that we can get a nice tight curl. You're wrapping it around your pencil and then you'll just gently remove it and there you go, a springy spiral. You can glue it onto your float wherever you would like. Our next um, paper technique is the accordion fold. I have an orange strip and you're gonna fold it back and forth, back and forth like an accordion. It's gonna create a zigzag kind of line um, or form. Go ahead and glue it onto your float. Okay, Falcons, this is a little bit challenging. You're gonna get your two strips of construction paper. You're gonna glue them like so. You're gonna hold it so they have a little bit of time to dry. Now, you're gonna do the accordion fold, but you're gonna do it with each color. You're gonna repeat this step until you get to the very end. So orange, fold it over the green, green over the orange, orange over the green, and continue this process to the very end. Okay, your strips should be shrinking in size as you get closer to the end. If there is any extra, you can go ahead and trim that. And remember, we're gonna put glue at the end, press gently, Okay, and then it'll, it will expand. It does look like an accordion and you can glue this anywhere on your float. Okay, and here is our last paper technique. We are going to create some arches on our float. Okay, I'm using three different strips of construction paper and you're just gonna fold the ends so that you can glue them down. You may have to layer them just a bit if you're connecting them. We're just creating fun loops that add volume and height to our float. Okay, use any color you have access to. Boys and girls, be creative. Here's a summary for our paper techniques. We have paper arches, paper spirals, double accordion folds, 
accordion folds, and we have our tissue flowers or tissue puffs. These paper techniques are just some ideas, boys and girls. Feel free to use any other found objects. Be creative and be festive. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our Fiesta float lesson. I hope you learned some new paper techniques. Decorate these, show us a little bit about your culture and your heritage, and have fun. Submit your picture. Submit your picture by Wednesday, please. We're gonna try to show a special video of all of our Falcon floats. Viva Fiesta! Okay, Falcons. I'm about to share my float with you. I used paper arches and the single paper accordion. I created a cherry princess on my float. Be sure to submit a picture of your float on Seesaw.